was a kid, I was there in the kids' classes for like, I'd come in for one class and I'd be gone for like two or three months because like when I was a kid, I used to play football, you remember that as well? So the football, I used to be playing Gaelic football, I used to be doing a bit of everything, but like, like properly like two and a half years or something, like two years I've been there like, you know, just full, full, full on training with them. Yeah, like I actually did the boxing before this one, so it's like, I was always into fighting, you know, boxing. About 11, I'd say, I was, I was doing like boxing. I did a, a, like I was here when I was a kid as well for a while, like, you know, and then I actually left and just actually did like boxing for like four or five years. And then I came, I came back here when I was like 16. Like. You left school, right? Yeah, I left school at 16. And you just kind of like went for it? Yeah, went with training. What was like going through your mind when you like actually left school? Like that's kind of a big deal, right? Ah, uh, yes. Jesus, I'm, I'm not sure. Like I was like, even in class, like, I'd be just always actually thinking about fighting, you know? And still, like, and still, like, 24 7, like, it's, all, it's just always on my head, like, fighting. That's basically it. Just, it's just actually never really in my head, like, fighting. It's always in the head. Let's see. November, November 25th or 26th, I fought on the full power show up in Drogheda for that, but um, I beat a good, beat a good fighter, so, like, Salomon, I don't know his surname. <laughs> He's from South Africa somewhere, this guy pronounced his surname. And I'm gonna have a fight coming up anyway as I train. I train in the mornings like and I train in the evenings and I'll be running every day as well like. Five years, I see. Well I'm gonna be five years old already. <laughs> uh, uh, I'd like to be like because uh, like I'm gonna start fighting M M M M MMA as well this year, so I'd, I I know I wanna be up there at at the top and getting paid good money out there so like I can provide for my you know, like my family and shit, you know what I mean? I want him to have like good things in life as well, like so you know, hopefully like big house, you know, and nice cars and stuff like That'd be good. <laughs> so are you actually hoping to uh, go into the UFC? Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. UFC or Bellator, like something, something. I actually, I actually, I actually don't care of the promotion as long as they pay me good. Like I'll fight anywhere if the money is right. <laughs> Let's see. I'd like to be like a world champion, anyways. I fight, I'll fight the best fighters in the world. Like that's that's my dream, anyways. And hopefully the UFC is there. Like you never know. <laughs> Could you tell me more about your coach? Who's your coach? Coach Dan O'Callaghan. Perfect. I actually, I actually personally think like I, I actually think he's one of the best coaches like in like I actually think he's one of the best in the world. Like that is a big thing to say. But you know like I actually really think this because like I have I've actually trained and I mean like under under like a lot of great coaches. But like I, I actually really think he's up there with the best. Like you know, and like he 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 is like even on pads and stuff and like and the stuff that he knows about like my type. And like the things he just shows you and stuff, like I, he is up there with the best. Like, but like I actually think he's he, he's not recognized as the as as like oh, I'm the best just because he runs a small gym, in, like a watch called in Galway, in Lockridge, in a small town, and he doesn't have like he doesn't have the big fighters yet, but he has like a big prospect coming through here. I tell you that, and I'm I mean, I'm going to be one of the best in the world on there, you know. And, and I will show, and I, and like, and like, you know, I want to show how great he is, like, you know. And you'll still be with your coach. Yeah, and I, oh yeah, like even when I fight MMA, like he'll be still in my corner, and he'll be still there, like, you know, he's gonna be a part of the team all the way, anyways, all the way to the top. Yeah, I'm coaching at the minute, actually. Yeah, I'm coaching the kids, and I'm coaching the fighters in our gym as well. And I'm, and I'm like, I was actually coaching the beginners course, but that's actually just after finishing. But I say there'll be another one starting up soon. Yeah. So yeah, I'm probably in like in the, I, I actually hope like in the, in the next three to four years. He hears to have like I got you to have, like, have him my own gym, throw my own gym. So that would be a goal. Of yeah, that's a goal for the, for the next three or four years. I was to have my own gym. Where do you hope to live? Do you want to stay here in Lockray? Do you want to move to? Oh, well, like I won't be able to open the gym in Lockray anyway. So I, I know I'm thinking of about like I'm maybe open the gym somewhere anyways, but it won't be in this t town. Like it'll be somewhere else. Cage, Cage Kings, uh, 20, uh, 18th of February is Cage Kings. So then. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the win. Uh, Garrett Sm Smilesy, he fights out of uh, Jamie Crawford in Belfast. I'm fighting Garrett in Cage Kings on Saturday, and then I'm fighting Garrett again on the 25th, up in Belfast of, of March. Like, uh, I don't know if he's go if he's gonna t turn up after Saturday because I, I I do I do I'm pl I'm, like I'm planning on, fo on like breaking him up on Saturday. Like, so I don't know if he is gonna be. Up from Hearts, and then I'm actually fighting one of his teammates. Yeah, 
uh, Jordan on on what's called Jamie Crawford show in May. Like so, yeah. Like in fairness to him, he is he he's like a good he's good like technical and stuff. But when he gets hit, when like uh, like I actually think when he gets hit with high power, like he'd be. I think he'll be going to sleep early, like, you know, pretty early anyway. So you're confident that you're Yeah, I'm confident when I'm knocking him up, like. Ass! Give me my crown! I ain't messing around! Happy days. That's the job. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. 